So you mentioned you have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, what's a broke Hi, ass baby. dude? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> on camera. Do that one Hello, more. Hello, baby. Very nice. <laughs> He's thinking of you. I want to know what does broke ass Stuart do to be romantic? What's a good thing that guys may not have a lot of money and they want to charm somebody? What might be a suggestion of yours? A broke ass romantic moment. Oh, uh, wow. I, I mean, I just think of that roofies joke you made earlier, honestly. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um <laughs> Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do. I mean, I've always thought going to um, the museums on a free day is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. and followed by maybe 40s in Dolores Park. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nice. It's got nice. a nice view. You can see the bay. Dolores Park. I don't know what's going on with Dolores Park, but it is so hopping. I mean, everybody's there. One day I went there for a picnic and I ended up getting hula hoop lessons, tight rope walking lessons and juggling fire at night all in one day. And that was just, that's so San Francisco. Yeah. That is. And Plus all, all the free. pot food that's going around there, too. <laughs> yes, yes. The pot fairies are going around. <laughs> now, where are some of the places that people can go if they want to uh, ask or find places that are free wine and cheese art galleries? You know, there's some places, resources that we can go. Oh, look at, you know what? We got a call. Hang on one second. Hang with us, Stuart. I uh, respect the hazing for sure. <laughs> Hi, caller. You're on the air. Oh, a little bit louder, if you could. You want a lady? You're looking for a lady? Yeah. Okay. You might want to go to Craigslist for that. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of places you can find ladies, but uh, this, I don't know if this is one of them. <laughs> My website, like, you know, we're, we're updating it daily. It's just relaunched. So it went from being just a blog into like a whole, um, like a whole site with all kinds of stuff. So like I always describe it as being somewhere between, if you took like Esophist or Gothamist and you took... Um, Salon.com, and you, you mixed them together, you, you, you focus it for broke asses because it's like, you know, like there's a broke ass style section, there's a sex and dating column, you know, as well as like, you know, uh, features on like the cheapest places to eat and stuff like that. So there's all kinds of stuff. But um, there's also, you know, if you want other websites, let's say myopenbar.com is cool because it tells you where all like the open bars are in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, fecalface.com, which is my personal favorite website name ever. And it's, uh, it's like, all the art gallery openings. Okay. And, you know, art gallery openings guaranteed free wine and cheese. That's true. You can get your fill of wine and cheese in the city. Definitely. Yeah, especially the first Thursday of the month, which is the best, because you can go, like, all around. Most of the galleries have, like, an opening on the first Thursday of the month. Mm -hmm. That's down at the end of Geary, right? The first block of Geary? Yeah, right but it's just all over. Like, any, like most galleries in the whole city will do that. Oh, really? But, okay. but also, there's one, like, in Geary Street. Like I think it's, like, 45 Geary or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they, they have, like, an entire building that is um, all galleries. Mm -hmm. So you can just, you know, go from room to room. Now, do you ever go so far as to, like, um, go into a wedding reception that's not really yours in order to go find some food and everything? Um, I'm, I'm not above it, <laughs> by any <laughs> means. But I, I haven't done it yet, but it's just because, like, you know, I don't walk down the street and fall into wedding receptions that often. But some have really good food. Oh, yeah. Champagne. I love that. It's not bad. And they're like, are you with the bride? Yes. Absolutely. Right? The groom, yes. <laughs> whoever. And Susie. I was with them at the same time once. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother show, Stuart. Very good. So, um, so, okay. So you're trying to find some place to take someone out for dinner and you want to impress them. Um, what would you recommend in the city? What are some of the places that you like that? Um, I mean, impressing is hard because everybody's got different standards. Some people's standards are lower than others. Um, I don't know. I think, uh, I mean, my, one of my favorite places to eat is Yamo. It's in the Mission. It's so cheap. It's at like 18th and Mission. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, it's like a little like lunch counter. There's seven seats, maybe maybe eight, and two ladies in a walk, you know? <laughs> Very cool. And like it's, it's Burmese food. It's super good. And everything on the menu is 525. Mm -hmm. And there's not exactly atmosphere, or, but I mean, that's not what you're paying for anyways. So basically, you tend to give up atmosphere and kind of, you know, all the, the new bells and whistles in a restaurant to get some really good food at a really good price. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how about for entertainment? How about going for places like movies or things like that? Oh, I that? just ride Muni for entertainment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's true. <laughs> there's so much on there. Um, movies? I mean, it all depends. You can... I think there's the Red Vic is fantastic mm -hmm. up on Hate Street. There's... Um, now, in case anyone hasn't seen the Red Vic, why don't you describe what you get to go see? Oh, the Red Vic is, is awesome. It's this. It's like a second-run uh, theater or like eighth-run theater where like um, you can see old movies or movies that just came out of the theater. Uh, that um, it's like five dollars to get in, six dollars to get in, and it's like just bench seating, and you hang out, you watch a movie. I think buy like popcorn, buy a giant bowl, 
Maybe they sell beer. I don't know. No, I think they sell beer. There's one like that in in Oakland. I can't think of it. Maybe the Parkside Theater. Mm-hmm. And they, they sell beer in that one. It's an, also like a second-run theater. Have you ever... Now, have you ever um, gone somewhere when you found something that was really cheap, but it really wasn't worth it? I mean, it was it was really good cheap food, but it was really not good food. I mean, Oh, yeah. That happens all the time. Like, do you have any experiences that you remember any in particular? I mean, there's, place, there's a place in my book. I can't think of the name of it. It's like, you know, anytime where, like, the place, the name of a place is just, like, Asian food or, like, Italian food, like, that's the name of the restaurant, you generally, like, you get what you pay for. You know, there's a place on Market, I can't think of the name of it, but um, it's like that. It's, like, Asian Food Express or Mm -hmm. something. And it's, um, I mean, I wouldn't even eat there. I was like, fuck, that's gonna... gonna..." Asian Food Express. I I might have made made that up, but it's something really, like, it's, like, on Market, maybe in, like, 9th or 10th or something like that. And, and like, but, you know, it's super cheap. You can get a beer for, like, $1.25, and, like, you get, like, a bunch of food for, like, three dollars four dollars but i mean I, I wasn't that brave that day you know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> not bad there i think there was one that a couple of the places that i really like i love the taco truck that's my favorite mm-hmm. but there's some places out in irving where you can actually go to a buffet of cold food and they have the little hot pot that you can cook it on have you ever been oh to yeah like shabu before? shabu places i think i, Is that what I it's believe so it's not a whale no, that's Shamu. <laughs> that's right. Maybe that's Back to San Diego, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Very good, yeah. Um, Those are pretty fun. Or some of the very interesting kind of odd places that yeah. you found in the city. Oh, there's so many. I mean, I'm a fairly adventurous eater, and you can find food from all over the world here. You What's know? the most unusual food that you've tried? Beside the eyeball tacos that I really don't believe you and probably going to check after I'm not, well, I'm fairly adventurous. I'm not eating nobody's eyeballs, though. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've eaten crickets. Um on purpose or we yeah yeah a guy i was working with he's like you want some of these hey why not fried crickets anything fried's good um a cricket good when it's fried yeah it tastes like fried (laughs) it tastes like fried i like that um it was yeah it was good i think they call them grias griot something like that gria i don't know do they make a grias taco perhaps no maybe that might be good it would be you never know so if you started your own place in san francisco what would you start what do you think there needs to be because there's so much in san francisco like a restaurant yeah oh i would not get in the restaurant business come on if i made you if i had a gun to your head right now what kind of i I mean i I worked in the restaurant business and um it's it's i no no okay no but no no i mean yeah i can tell you i I want i want something that's awesome and cheap someplace that can buy 40s of beer Mm -hmm. and um has like food from all over like my dream place uh-huh. um you gotta have like really good food from around the world it's inexpensive and um cheap beer that's pretty good and i'll, I'll tell you mine mine would be a store that or a restaurant that opens from like 10 at night till two in the morning that served nothing but cereal Wow. All of it, you got like yeah, lucky like Lucky Charms. charms. I love Lucky Charms. Charms. Lucky Cookie charms. Crisp is so Cookie good. Crisp, yep, yeah, with all different kinds of milk and uh, big, huge spoons and big, yeah. huge bowls like this big. And you could go there until 2, 3, 4 in the morning. There's a market for that. You See, know what we need more of in this city is 24-hour places. Actually, this needs to be a later city in general. Yes. But like, yes. All the 24-hour places are pretty much in the Castro. Will you tell the camera that because I really want that to we happen. We need more 24-hour places. We need to like, and the BART needs to run longer for fuck's sake. Like. <laughs> This is true. I don't even go to Oakland or Berkeley because I can't get home if I do. That's true. And the only late nights I know about really are Sparky's and Baghdad Cafe. There's Orphan Andy's. That's 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Um, There's, I feel like there's another one in the Castro that's also 24 hours, but there's not a lot. There is not, Um, definitely. There's, and it's a shame. There needs to be, there's some places in the Tenderloin. Okay. Like, but like not the Tenderloin, like not the crazy part of Tenderloin, but kind of like in the outskirts, closer to Union Square. Cool. Like the Pinecrest Cafe. Okay. Oh, Pinecrest yeah. Diner. Pinecrest yeah. Diner, definitely. Hey, Joe Castor, thank you very much for being here. Hold that boogie man, there that boogie man. Take it, take it, take it, take it, hold them for the hand. Go ahead, work that bag. Go ahead, work it, Sam. Talking to talk, you walking walk in a walk as well, daddy. Give that chance. Wear them pretty clothes, drive them pretty cars. You a superhero, you a superstar, you a superman. Go ahead, fly your paper, blow.